Welcome everyone. I trust that you are blessed by the study on faith. We will continue to look at um, what faith can accomplish for us. Now, faith can cause us to conquer. By faith, we can conquer. I'd like to read a passage from Hebrews chapter 11, um, from verses 30 all the way till verse 34. It says, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. By faith, the harlot Rahab did not perish with those who did not believe when she had received the spies with peace. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. In this passage, many people are listed, some who have been named uh, and some who have not been named. But in their life circumstances, there is one determinant that caused them to overcome and that is faith. We read about walls coming crashing down, the walls of Jericho. And the verse begins by the term, by faith. Now, and today, if we are facing walls based on the promises of God, whatever God has spoken to us regarding those walls will come to pass in our lives if we hold on to the faith that God has given us. Now, we read about Rahab being protected. And how did that happen when uh, the whole city came crashing down? One woman and, and her family was protected because of faith. God's protection is over our lives through faith and we can experience it. We see that every opposition that comes against us can be overcome. We've talked about kingdoms being subdued. And today, if you and I find ourselves in a situation where there is opposition, how can you um, uh, win over that opposition by faith? Employ your faith, engage your faith in that situation. There are people we read about who did the right thing. They worked righteousness. Maybe in our workplace, we are tempted. We are under pressure, in stress. Um, and uh, we could almost be at the point of doing something wrong. But by faith, we can work righteousness or do what is right. By faith, people obtained promises. Many of us could be standing on God's word and uh, wondering why it's taking so long, but just hold on to your faith. By faith, you will receive the promises of God. The passage also talks about people who escaped oppression, even death, people who went through fiery trials, so many things that you and I can overcome. Whatever situation we are in right now, by faith, we can subdue, we can dominate, we can overcome. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you have given us faith, O oh God, to conquer uh, over the evil one. And Lord, today we declare we are victorious. We are triumphant. By our faith, O oh God, we claim victory. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.